So, Johan, we have another guest for the stage. Stuart, yes, the next topic is uh, the ethical power of volunteering programs in your company. So, total different topic. Uh, I want to welcome Hendrik Jan Overmeer on the stage. <laughs> Hendrik Jan is a founding team member at DeedMob, a leading volunteering platform responsible for sh stakeholder management. Also, Hendrik Jan is uh, the chairman of the Protestant Church Amsterdam, consisting of 19 churches in Amsterdam. Yes. Hendrik Jan has a wide range of experience. He holds degrees in communications, commercial economics and IT from the University of Amsterdam, Amsterdam University of Applied Sciences and ROC ICT Academy. I collected a few. <laughs> Great to have you here. Thank so, you. Your topic, the ethical power of volunteering programs. Please start with your presentation and later I have some questions for you. Thank you. Um, my name is Hendrik Jan Overmeer, founding team member at DeedMob. And just to make sure what DeedMob stands for is doing deeds, mobilizing them. DeedMob. Um, we're talking about volunteering, but the word volunteering is in this case a bit weird because we're talking about doing time during we normally work for free. But I want to focus more on civic participation. It's not just doing things for free, but as said in a previous video, economy is not just about making money, it's about making impact. And that's also what volunteering is about. I, d I just have three slides. One of them is with our logo. So that's already the first one. And the second one, I have a few things about the world that we live in today. And before I want to zoom in on these few research results, I want to talk about two examples. Two companies that started doing company volunteering, corporate volunteering, a few years ago, and now it's totally ingrained in their DNA of their company culture. One of them is a Dutch bank. And five years ago, they adopted one school in a poor neighborhood in Amsterdam. Employees of the bank started helping school children, not just with homework, but also with access to network, with sharing stories, giving them more to view than just their space that they grew up in. Now they are supporting over 10 schools in t through the entire metropolitan region of Amsterdam, which is over 3 million people. And they adopt classes with people to help them out. And you can see from research that these students find internships, they find better opportunities at other schools, they go to universities, and they help out these children with a brighter future. And it's also part now of this bank daily operation. If you, if you see now people who are going to study or are, are, are out of university and they want to do something with their job, 10 years ago you say, I want to work for Shell. Now you want to work for a company that does something with impact. Rabobank, in this case, which is the example, does that by sharing their story. The other one is an Indian company all over the world in the electronic sector, and they, also have their own, and they also have their own department in Amsterdam. Because they're new, they are not familiar with the Dutch culture. So they started doing corporate volunteering at a local coffee house. You think it's a bit weird, right, that the electronics company is doing volunteering at the coffee house, but now they know exactly how our culture, the Dutch culture, fits within their Indian culture. And now, on a weekly basis, they join up and they share stories. It's good to do something with corporate volunteering for talent. It's good to do something with your own impact because it's not bad if you do also something for free and you help some, someone out. These are just two examples to share a story about shareholder First, a stakeholder. It's really about enabling people to do something good. And as you can see within these results, there, it's really important now these days that you do something with social responsibility. And corporate volunteering is just one part of it. As I said, it's not about the volunteering, it's about civic participation. And now we come in. At DeepMob, what do we do at DeepMob? We are a SaaS solution, software as a service where we help out companies, but also municipalities, 
worldwide in enabling their corporate volunteering programs. And we do it in three phases. We help you start up, or we help you scale it, or we help you globalize it. Around the world, we serve around 5 million people, and we, and we also connect to 50,000 charities worldwide by helping organizations doing company volunteering. And how do we do that? Well, we share that with our own internal external platform, and everything on our platform is connected by the Social Sustainable Development Goals by the United Nations. So you can select these goals, and you can do it as an individual, or you can do it as a company, or you can do it as a, uh, just a city, and you can build up, and you can start up, and you can also share your story about your company volunteering, and you can share all the relevant data that is being collected because of your civic participation. As said, it's not just volunteering, it's civic participation. And as you can see, companies that are having active uh, corporate volunteering programs like Patagonia, like Tesla, they are way more better in finding talent and also giving something back to the community because it's about community building and it's about engaging other people to do good. Thank you very much. And again, take a seat, please. Thank you. Uh, uh, so the editorial wrote down some questions for you. <laughs> and the first one uh, is, uh, would you say that a religious person are more natural in acting ethical than non-religious persons? Um, then it comes on religion. I don't think you should focus on religion. I think you should focus on your personal beliefs. And it could be religion or it could be something else. But I think you believe in something. Then, yeah, you can do something more with just earning money and, do, and, and just go about doing during the day. If you look at now, and I think also after, after this segment, there's also, also another example of a, of, a, of a charity called Extinction Rebellion. That they also do it in their own way, but they really do it with passion and they share a story. And it could be a religion, but it could also be something else that you really find yourself into, that you really think, well, I can do something, I can help you out. So, yeah, so if you have personal belief, then, yeah, you can start out. The main part is, is personal believing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, job interviews should not start with the job description and how well the candidate fits in that, but uh, with uh, talking about the social and ethical missions of the company and what the vision of the candidate is on, it, on that. Would you agree to this statement? Well, I'm not an HR specialist, so I'm not sure, but I really think it's a good start. So, yeah, you should always ask the candidate to ask about what do you think of the company? Does it fit within your, within your personal beliefs, as, as, as the previous presentation from, the, uh, from uh, Varta was said? Of course, they share uh, their, 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 their code of conduct, they share their personal stories, they share how they look at their company philosophy. So yeah, I think that in a job interview, you should share that as well and ask what you're looking forward to. A lot of uh, young people are now looking for jobs. They ask specifically about what they do, about sustainability, mm -hmm. corporate volunteering, sustainable development goals, just more than a salary and a, um, and a, and a laptop. Uh, would you recommend uh, companies in the electronic industry to launch a corporate foundation in which they focus uh, thinking and acting social responsibility? Absolutely. We did some research on that. And when you look at different sectors, the electronic sector is, is behind. Mm -hmm. And it's very focused on uh, supply chain, on sustainable uh, sustainable creation of products and sustainable development, but not really on the civil part of it, not really on the human aspect of it. And uh, when you can see, every sector has an average of around 40 to 50 percent of foundations, especially when you look at Western countries, uh, especially the United States, but in the United States is way more incorporated with philanthropy. Mm -hmm. So it's way more about giving and giving money and the giving pledge, so to say. But yeah, I think especially in a sector like this, yeah, you should have a foundation because um, you're a bit behind. Mm -hmm. uh, because the results of the, our survey was that, that they, maybe they have no foundation here in, in, in our industry or they don't talk about. Uh, why is it important to talk about as well? 
Yeah, you should always share your story. I never, uh, I have a background in communications. I don't know why companies don't share good stories. Sometimes they say, well, we don't share it because we just do it. Or we don't share it because we don't want to, because it's just part of our, our company. But if you do something that really helps out your community, share it. Share the story, share the ideas, share the philosophy behind them. People say, well, if you share it, it's just uh, using the backs of others to, 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 uh, to get good promotion or to get free publicity or stuff like that. No, if you do it ethical, if you do it in a good way, then share your story. Please do it. So if there is more information out there, please share it and share it also with us so that we know it and then we can report on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you are totally right. I can remember our founder and, and owner, he did a lot in this direction. He was talking about this. And this is what I tell my friends in, in my private life, also in, in my business partners here on the show. Hey, he is the biggest spender for, for, in medicine for, for a certain area. This is what I tell the people and everybody is impressed. And this loads up, I think, the image of companies. And, and Absolutely. And if you look at volunteers in general, uh, if you look in, in Europe to a country to country basis, on an average, 50% of the population of the country above 18 does volunteering. Mm -hmm. And it's not just uh, going to a food bank or helping out your kids at school, but it's in every sector, everywhere. So we are doing something. Uh, we're helping out. And it's not just about making money. It's about helping communities. It's about helping others. Mm -hmm. And we need to share those stories because then we can inspire others mm -hmm. who are not doing it. So in the end, everyone does volunteering or civil participation. Do we have an additional final recommendation to us? Uh, what? Well, join us if you want. We can help you out with your corporate uh, social responsibility program. Focus on people. Focus on helping out communities. And, yeah, please uh, contact us. Please uh, become engaged and do something with more than just creating beautiful products. Hendrik Jan, thank you very much for joining us and coming to Munich. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the island. Thank you, sir. Okay.